Tonight, we wrap up an intriguing week two with a good Monday night matchup between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Carolina Panthers. The first game's out of the way. Time to buckle down for the long season ahead, and we're off in week two. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. probably imperative and they did talk about that with us prior to the game about how important it is to start the season one and one especially with two games at home because if you go 0-2 hard to make those up on the road as the season progresses and he'll go down right around the 47 this time seven yards there and a first down they kept the receiver in the short field but that one is pulled back to the ball quickly too for either guy and double coverage can react Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Right back to Jalen Waddle for another catch. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And again, it's Mahomes. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be brought down the other side of midfield at the 43. And clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football. And they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's got 4 of 4 on this opening ball. Yeah, that's what took place the downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. He feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. Mahomes now on first down. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher. That's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers, working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. They're on first down, holding them to a short gain. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Patrick Mahomes, his third touchdown now on the year. 
And the Panthers put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Point after, right down the middle. And it's now a 7 nothing game. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Looking to throw on second down. Randall drops this off to Tomlinson, can play. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. Defensively, they came into the game with the understanding they're going to have to slow him down on passes just like this because he was over 100 yards receiving a week ago. And you know they want to get him involved here as well. Timeout called on the defensive side of the ball by the Panthers. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Spend a first round draft pick on a running back, not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that is incomplete. Now oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. And 
incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. It's a give, running left, Tomlinson. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. That's exactly what you're looking for, the inside linebackers. Versatility. He can drop in the coverage as he did on that last play. Use the speed to get to the perimeter and knock the ball carrier for a loss. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Throw left side, complete. That's Hayes. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. On fourth down, Randall being chased out left. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A great play there. 36 yards. And the Buccaneers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. The extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Now, early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game, but I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice, but at the same time, it's not a make or break at this point. Let's say week 15, 16, somewhere in that neighborhood. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And they'll work this down to the 40 yard line tackle there. So for Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10, right at the 40. And Mahomes opting to keep this one. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't. And at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they didn't lose anything. But you're exactly right. Nowhere to go.
Now they'll throw with Mahomes. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. A gain of 32 that time. CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we could at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy's made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. And he is going to lose yardage here. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. Second down and goal. Mahomes is going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They can't hook up on fourth and goal from the four. And the Bucs defense, they'll celebrate the goal line stand. The Bucs offense set to begin their next possession. And now their defense came through with the goal line stand, got them the ball back. See what they can do about putting a drive together. Long way to go. They need to reward that defense. Goal line stand, they've got to make that stand up themselves, right? Give the defense a chance to catch their breath on the sidelines. At least get two first downs. Three would be better. Change field position, let them catch their breath. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room if you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Looking to throw. Randall, he finds his man to It's Hayes. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. just short of the 45 at the 44. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for him. Show him that you're supposed to get the football. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got him the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. On first and 10, Randall, he finds his man complete. That's Hayes. 
And he's going to get this down near the 25. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. On first down, Randall. That one's complete to Tomlinson. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. On second down, it's Tomlinson. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go in the full halftime. Center receiver here in motion right. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And he wisely will throw that one away. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And his kick is indeed good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. One second, all that remains. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And they've got it. They recovered it. But hang on now, though, there's a penalty flag down. Well, CD, you understand. I mean, they're so eager trying to get back in this game here in the fourth quarter, but they touched that one a little too early before it went 10 yards. Brandon, it's such a high-stakes scenario. Everyone's feeling the pressure on this play. The special teams coordinator, which one is he going to pick in terms of kicks? Can the kicker execute it? Can the team wait for 10 yards? So many variables, and in this case, they didn't get it done. No, no. Back, back. Hand off left, Tomlinson. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Midfield strike, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Russell. And he'll be brought down just shy of 40. He's a rookie, and they don't want to get hung up on the road potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with that work. Off 
the play fake. Randall, he's going to loft one deep left side here. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. A great effort there. 41 yards as his guys are able to extend their lead. Extra point right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They find themselves down 17-7 as they start this drive first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Oh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Well, such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop a score. Tomlinson is into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown score or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the 5 at the 6. Patrick Mahomes, he can do everything seemingly. And that time, he just reared back and let it fly. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Touchdown, Panthers. From six yards away. And the Panthers get a bit closer. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like the memory was a little too long in there. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. offense set to begin their next possession this now a 10-point game so things tightening a little bit after that last score they'll start this drive out on the ground and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 
Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. Randall out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Tablets it up the middle. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a yard on the pick up there, and he'll leave it with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they get five there on third and two. But give the defensive guys a little bit of credit. They didn't let the deep ball beat them on that play, did they? No, the, the drag, that guy can be your safety valve. We saw it right there. Yeah, and it picked up a first down for him, too. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and ten. 60 Bison, 60 Bison. They'll go up the gut with Tomlinson. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Panther 11, Panther 11. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Swinging this ball out here to Tomlinson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 33. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Throwing on first down. Randall, he lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol, let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but go, no, incomplete. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and 10 coming up. Off play action, Randall. This is intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And the Panthers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, C.D., I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. He's at the 50. The 30. 10. Touchdown, Carolina. Darren Waller, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Panthers are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Extra point splits the uprights, and that cuts the lead to three, 24-21. 
So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in the second half. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Off the play fake, Randall. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because you're playing the old momentum. This moment, he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert him, guess what? He's going to make the track to the opposite side. And all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. The slot man in motion right. To throw on third down, Randall. And that is incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. They'll try and throw for it here. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Extra point forthcoming. And that will make this a four-point game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken from about the 12. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A big play. 74 yards. And the Bucs have answered back with a third quarter touchdown of their own to retake the lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that gives them a three point lead. Yeah. 
The Bucks ready for the kickoff. And here we go. It's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that... And that's caught inside the 30. Then he will finally be taken down, but how about that play? It's a big one on the final act in the third quarter. So the illegal forward pass also cost him a down, and now it's second and long. Now here's Mahomes. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. On third and long, it's Mahomes. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Now Mahomes got to have this one. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. This offense hoping to avoid the 0-2 start. They trail, but they've got a first and 10 here. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? From the 41. Mahomes, man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 39. A good pick up there, 20 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it gutsy tackle the throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. So he'll be stopped here for no gain, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he can't find a receiver and he's brought down. Devin White, what a play by him. That's gonna go as a loss of 13. He has some real defensive resistance there, saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Gonna need better protection here. Third and long following the sack for Mahomes and company. They'll set up to throw. Throwing for his running back and he's got him complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Mahomes going to go on fourth down. 
to the sideline, and he's got it. They say the feet are down. Yes, the line judge says they're in. That'll be a first down. A big pick up there, 20 yards as they convert on Ford. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback, makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Ball at the 23, second and eight. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. And they'll run on the inside handoff. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, they're going to go with the option. And Mahomes picking up the first as he slides and hits the deck. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. taps this forward it's a jet sweep and he'll fight his way down right around the 12. now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts that'll leave them with two remaining we'll be back after this mahomes right back to jalen waddle for another catch now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. come by here he gets it down to the eight the Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout it'll be their third and final timeout so as they talk things over we'll step aside so now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming this to potentially send us to overtime and his kick here is good and that will tie this game final minute of the play. So in the final minute, they turn it over to their kicker to get him back to even, and he does not disappoint. Brandon, do you think the pressure ever gets to this guy? 
because I sure don't. That was pretty smooth right there. But I tell you, he better not rest on his laurels because there's a good chance they may need him again if this game goes to overtime. offense set to begin their next possession. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And partner, you and I both know the same calls to kneel and just take it into overtime. But it's also very tough to pass up a chance to win it right now as well. But remember, if you do attempt that, it's got to be a big play downfield and still leave yourself enough time to get your field goal unit out there and kick for the win. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. I see you nodding your head up and down. That's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again, Randall buying time to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his head. Got to totally command to make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. They'll call multiple plays and go for different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. On third down, Randall. And Escobar has it left side. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And this is going to be intercepted. Jeremy Chen picks it off. And we have free football over time. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime, because neither one got an advantage today. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and it gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Well, they fought hard to reach this point, Charles, and now what an opportunity. They've got the ball first, a chance to take this overtime win away from the hostile crowd. And you know as the quarterback steps into the huddle, the first thing he's telling his team is, remember, we need six, not three. So we don't need a good drive. We need a great drive. And this is what they've been planning for. It's time to execute and take it downfield, even against all these odds. 
Uh, throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. So they come out throwing in the extra session and get a nice hookup right away. Tells you a lot about what a coach feels about his team, doesn't it? That type of a play in overtime, so many people in this situation play not to lose instead of playing to win. That throw there tells you exactly what they're trying to get done. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. After the loss, they'll come on second and 13. Looking to throw. Randall. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. Oh, and it's intercepted. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. And the Panthers are going to have it with a chance to win the game here in overtime. Uh, he had the interception rose in regulation, and now they carry over into overtime. And on the other side, CD, all they need is a field goal to win. I'm glad you pointed that out, Brandon, because he has not been sharp all game long. He's been rather loose with some of his passes, and this one might cost him the ball game. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. One team squandered opportunity. It's another team's chance to win this thing. They forced that clutch turnover, and now all they need is a field goal here to win this ball game. Could not be set up much better. Could they? A takeaway on defense. Now it's up to that offense to find a way to put themselves in position for the game-winning points. Touchdown, field goal, they don't care. Just find a way to win it. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. Now the Buccaneers go ahead and take another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. Coming up on a second and six. What can Mahomes do now with his overtime drive? He's going to fire one deep over the middle. 